you learn how to race. It's taken me 20 something years to get to where I'm at, but being a dad is, is a constant learning process. I mean, my kid's watching everything I do. All right, Tyler, so we're here. It's quite the setup when it comes to these racetracks now because this is a neighborhood on wheels. You guys spend more time here and your family spend more time here, I think, than you do at home. So can you describe what it's like to be on the road with your family? I think I was already somewhat accustomed sure. to that style of life. My upbringing with all the racing I was doing all over the country, you know, me and my whole family were, were in a motor home for months and months on end. You know, sometimes we go three or four months on the road before going home. Describe what it's like having your family, Bo and Alexa, at your place of work every single weekend. Can you hold this, Mr. Wonka? Yo, Ozzy! <laughs> with purple gloves. All right, go outside, Bo. Sharon! <laughs> Sharon! We need to cut it. I mean, it's something I, I definitely try not to take for granted. Just don't poke me. I might. A lot of those in this industry, don't have the opportunity to bring their family with them. Mm -hmm. With the driver's situation, it's a little bit different. You know, we have it pretty good being able to bring our family with us. Bo was born January 18th, and February 6th or 7th, wow. we were traveling down to Daytona, and he was on the bus. He probably, I believe, actually, he spent more days on the bus in this world to get his life started than he did in his own house. So he's just kind of always been used to the traveling and, and what that's like. We've seen you have Bo in Victory Lane on Pit Road. He's done interviews. Bo has been all over the place. They're crashing further back. Checkered flag is in the air. Tyler Reddick gets there first. And his heiress, Michael Jordan, is here, and he is celebrating. This is going to be a heck of a celebration down there. And Tyler Reddick celebrating the win today. So what's been the best part about having Bo and Alexi here with you? There's certainly a huge void um, when they're not here. And I guess, you know, when you do this every single week and it's your job, you forget how cool it is to get and go get on a stage and answer some questions or go to a trailer and sign autographs. You know, um, it, it's easy to take it for granted how, how unique and special that is. So it's fun whenever you get to take your kid along with you and uh, he gets to experience that as well. Let's see it with the hat. You know, being a dad is, is a constant learning process, and um, I certainly feel like I'm still guilty of it, as you probably have already caught on, right, where I somewhat treat my kid like he's an adult, <laughs> but he's, all, he's four years old, right? He's figuring things out. How much did the two of them push you to be better at your job? I think back to my, my second year racing full-time in, in, in Xfinity with RCR, I was extremely motivated to win that championship, but like, it was just one of those feelings. I knew something, some sort of motivation or drive, like there was a little piece missing. And whenever Alexa made that bet with me about, you know, if you win the championship, you can name your kid whatever you'd like. And if you lose, you have to live with whatever name I pick. Just that, right from the very, even before the beginning, you know, before he was here, that motivated me immensely. And it was easy to find motivation and be a better parent, better role model. I mean, my kids watching everything I do. I think back to the Bristol moment between me and Briscoe in 2022. Battling into turn three, Briscoe dives to the bottom of the racetrack, side by side. They get loose, they spin. Now Tyler Reddick does a 360, so does Briscoe. It's going to go to the third place car as they come back to the start finish line. You know, I get out of the car, I'm upset. I'm probably thinking about doing things I shouldn't. Then I see my kid in the arms of, of my wife, upset, and you know, I immediately go back to, okay, I need to. I need to be a role model for my son and, and, and I guess other young kids out there too, right? I don't want to teach my kid that you're going to right or wrong by throwing fists with somebody. And certainly there's, I feel like there's arguably time for that, but, but as a parent you've just got to think things through before you do them. He's always watching what you're doing, even if you don't think he's watching. So it's just something that I feel like is really helpful. What is Bo saying about winning a championship in 2024? You pick this one, Blaney, Brennan, or Hamlin. Reddick is not done with yet. Tyler Reddick just drives all the way around Ryan Blaney. Can you believe what you just said? Reddick's going to Phoenix. Tyler Reddick wins the Straight Talk 400 in the most incredible way. Tyler Reddick ended on his roof last week in Vegas. This week, he delivers one.
23-11, a championship bird. We win a race, so we have a great day. We get a good finish. Seeing how excited my kid is, you know, he really loses the highs and really helps neutralize the low moments. And in racing, there's a lot of low moments. Um, you're gonna lose more races than you'll ever win. That's just part of it. And I knew that coming in, but I, I still really choose to uh, be really sour Torture about the losses. Out. So um, being a dad's really helped manage all that. She got a golden, got a golden ticket. ticket for